okay guys so I have these leftover bananas and I think I'm gonna do a banana bread yeah let's do that recipe book which is like a basic notebook that I just put a cover on and we're gonna follow the recipe it's right here so let's see how this goes okay people so I line up all my ingredients yes the recipe calls for three bananas but since I only since it's only five left um I'm gonna just use them all okay let's go ingredients don't criticize my things most of them you'll notice they're in like plastic bags and stuff because and they're like quash things like because like during corona banana bread has been making because bananas were spoiling so most of these things are leftover stuff raisins walnuts even the chocolate chips because then i had my goobers <laughs> my little cousins and my nieces um we were just doing stuff so most of these are left over don't judge my things okay i don't care they're doing my belly so it's not a problem for me so we're gonna need three bowls okay first step is to preheat your oven to 325 degrees fahrenheit i've already done that so in our first bowl we have two cups of all-purpose flour one teaspoon of baking powder one teaspoon of baking soda one teaspoon of salt that's our dry ingredient so that's what we have in this bowl so we're just gonna stir this up so that's bowl number one. When I say one cup of anything, um, you need to get these measuring spoons for consistency. Well, measuring cups, measuring instruments, I don't know, spoons, cups, whatever, um, for consistency. So you could get that anyway, like SLS, anyway, really. Um, and they have it written on them, on them and behind them. What is one teaspoon, what is one tablespoon, what is one cup. So if you're a basic Betty like me, these are the plug moving on so our next step is to mash the bananas i know these look terrible in terms of what we expect for ripe bananas but the browning effect and everything is actually perfect for banana bread so i don't know if you'll have fancy mashing tools and things at your home i'm just gonna use a fork so to mash all these yeah i'm just using a good old fork Okay, people so we mash up the bananas then so our next step is to stir the bananas a tablespoon of milk and a teaspoon of cinnamon in another bowl so that's bowl number two so let's do that for the cinnamon I just use this hair that you can get at any supermarket cinnamon powder a teaspoon of that so we gotta stir it up. There, so we have our first bowl, which is our dry ingredients, and then our second bowl, which is our wet ingredients. So the recipe now asks us to beat the sugar and the butter together. Now, the recipe calls for softened butter. So for me, I don't know if that's the right thing to do, but that's just how I do it. I like to melt my butter. So I measure it, half a cup of butter is what it asks for. I measure my half a cup of butter in 
measuring instrument thing thing there and then i put it into a saucepan so that it can melt and become really really soft so that's what i do and then i combine it to the one cup of white sugar just remember that you don't want it to burn so once it gets to about this consistency you can turn it off because you don't want it to burn you just want it soft Okay, this is the sugar and the butter and what you want to do is take your whisk and then you just whisk it together. Yes. Whisk, 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 whisk. Okay, so the recipe then asks for two eggs. Um... What I like to do is I crack it separately into another bowl so that I could take out the germs and everything. And the important part is that you add in the eggs one at a time. So you're not adding both um, at the same time. So you add one and then you beat, you beat, you beat, you beat. And then you add the other one and then you beat, you beat, you beat, you beat. So yeah. Now, this is what it looks like. The recipe doesn't ask for this, but I add just a couple drops of vanilla essence. And then our next step is to combine our three bowls. This is one, this is two, and this is three. So we begin by adding the this banana mixture. We're going to add it into this bowl. And then we're going to fold it. And then afterwards, we're going to add this mixture into this bowl so all three of them will be in the same bowl okay all right three bowls shall become one bowl or whatever it was that the bible said <laughs> and it's down we're down now to our last 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 step well almost last step um we add in our chocolate chips this is one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips make sure it's semi-sweet i think because well because you're gonna add so many you already have so many sweet things in there and then for me this is optional but this is what i like to do I've stood in some raisins and walnuts, and they are also going in here. Normally, I don't just do all one time, but yeah. Yes! This is our final, final step. Um, so, like I told you all, the first step is that we preheat the oven, which I've already done, to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and part of that also said that we... Um, 
butter our pan or whatever so i just did that um and now i'm going to pour the mixture into my butter loaf pan yes So this is our finished product. I added some additional um, semi-sweet chocolate chips on top just for extra sugar. So when the, ba when the batter rises, these chocolate chips are going to sit right on the surface. So this is what it looks like. And we're putting it in the oven right now for an hour and 10 minutes. Okay y'all, so I put the banana bread in the oven um and now i'm going to clean up i know some people clean up during to be honest i would be faking it if i tell you that i am one of those people i am not for me i do everything and then i clean up so i'm going to go and wash the dishes and everything now and then about halfway through the time we're going to check on our banana bread um but it smells good i can tell you that i already start smelling it so I can't wait. But yeah, so clean up. Be right back. <sighs> we get in the people. We get in there. to cut into a very very small corner piece oh I hope I don't make a mess with that okay how are we looking uh oh y'all Oh my god, y'all! Mm -mm. I can already tell that I'm good. I like. I like. <laughs> I like it a lot. Very moist, very moist. Look at it. Yes! Mmm, hook. Mmm. It's good, guys. Oh my god. Mm -mm. I'm gonna have to hide it, you know. I'm gonna have to hide it. Hmm. That's selfish. I shouldn't hide it. Y'all. Wait, eh. That's good, you know. So, for anybody that's a basic Betty like me, um, remember what I told you about the measuring spoons, the instruments, that's important. For me, once you get that, you can understand any of the, the directions in the recipes. This recipe was not an original recipe, so I'm going to leave a link in the description if anybody else wants to try it. I mean, I added a couple things and whatever, but the main recipe was not mine. I got it from the internet, so I'm going to leave a link in the description below. So if anybody else wants to try it out, 
Mm -hmm. Remember for banana bread, your bananas have to be overripe so that it could be at its best. But y'all, you see, I'm proud of myself. You did that sauce, you did it. Mm -hmm. That's good, you know. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Um, and I'll see you guys next week. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you try this recipe, please let me know how it works out for you. See y'all in the next one. Love y'all.